What's up guys, this is the Roverman, and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to round off happened last time, we defended a uh, expeditionary force pushing out of Ahmedabad. No, is that bad? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was here. They tried to sally out and attack us, and then we decided to attack them, drawing in this reinforcement from Baroda, which means that this army back here is now just more of a more of a nuisance than an actual useful military force. Let's bring my raiders up. So yes, we are here. There are some stacks pushing onto Lahore, but I am confident that I will have enough men to do the job to keep them safe. Let's take this guy. Do they have any... Oh yeah, try kill that general That's when you've got chance. I'm keeping this guy outside, because if they move within range, they can. I can trigger... Um, oh, here trouble is though. Will I trigger a... Assault rather than a defence? So yes, I might do this. And keep these guys nearby. But yes, I just realised if I kept my general outside, then they could trigger an assault. Trigger an assault, but it might, they might be assaulting the city, and then this army's coming in as reinforcements, and not really defending. And yeah, so let's do that. This army's going to hold Lahore, clean these up. Um, these stacks are probably going to try move on Aram, um, Akbarabad, but the general is very experienced. Their forces are depleted. They won't stand much of a chance. Um, my force over here attack is moving west to hit Nagpur. Uh, they should be getting there next turn. This force down here is replenishing and they are recruiting a unit of company cavalry. They'll move on north to Hyderabad. Basically, I just want to keep the pressure up. Oh, yep. And this uh, university down here is being destroyed, which will bring Hindustan into the fold. Need to keep them taxed. Um, but yes, you see 10,000 they're earning. If I tax them, it's three grand. Just from one city. Right, let's hit end turn. Oh yeah, my other army from Moscow is making its way down to the Black Sea. Yeah, and the British continue to raid Courland, which is fine. Um, because we did establish in the last part that um, I will not need to... Well, I can, I can focus my efforts on India to satisfy my victory conditions... So unless something happens in Europe, like the Prussians declare on me, then it's not going to be a critical priority for me. Um, but considering I don't spend much time, or I haven't spent much time fighting in India in, in any of my campaigns, it might be a bit of a breath of fresh air. Um, so France is probably... France is mixed between all theatres. USA is currently primarily Europe. Uh, Mexico is primarily America. So I've got a nice spread. But yes. People are... Let's see, these these forces are more than welcome to try and... Uh, make their way towards opposing me. But I don't think it's going to work. To be honest, it, it might be worth recruiting a small... Uh, clean-up army in Calcutta to keep pushing these guys back. Let them raid. At this point, I've not got the need... Um, for so much money... I might do a bit of diplomacy on Mysore, because currently they are not involved in trade with them. In this region that has not yet been developed. Good, so we've got steam so engines. Works on strike, give them a fishery. See, so you're on strike, but now you're fine. So here, let's get a general's bodyguard. Some company cavalries were in India, a couple of desert camels. Some line infantry. These guys will be the guys that, you know, I want to send to clean up, like, the, uh, the riffraff. Anyone garrisoning Barar? No. So that's just an instant capture for me. Fix. Build walls. Replenish my troops. There's no point fighting an empty assault. And to be honest, it's going to be the same here in Malwa. Only these weak... Um, forces here uh, to stop me. So I did talk about not wanting to auto-resolve as much as possible um, but at the same time if there's literally no reason for me to be if there's literally no reason for me to fight it then I won't. So let's just do some mopping up with this uh, sweeper up force to deal with loose stacks. Good, good, good. 
But yeah, there's just... They've collapsed, fundamentally. That's what it is. They've collapsed. Oh yes, diplomacy... Minor nations, my swarm. We're friendly. Let us trade. Um, they don't want to trade for some reason. But we're friendly. I can't present any state gifts because they have no money. I've got loads more military tech than they do. They've got quite comprehensive armies, but they're just mostly regular old infantry with a couple of bits of artillery, so it's not really a major worry. Okay, cool. Lots of traits gained. Successful missions of rakes. So, up here... they want to camp out they can feel free to camp out okay let's hit and turn again oh, I could have been a bit more efficient with moving them but yes let's uh, get them across to um, what would be modern-day Syria run them down to Baghdad board them on ships in Basra then send them to probably attack Goa so north of Mysore but very much the Marathas southern flank air quotes southwestern flank i think that's the more the more um accurate way to put it but yeah right now poland's doing well enough to keep prussia away from my borders well, that being said poland did have gdansk now they've left it ungarrisoned and prussia are moving lots of troops eastwards so it might be worth me um, giving a load of money to Poland. Because Poland, Poland and Prussia, wars with them are what are kind of keeping my border secure. I'll just give them a bunch of tech. And don't ask for money. Because I don't want them to take money, because I'll give them tech to buy new units, but they can't afford to buy the new units, so what's the point? Ooh, don't like that. They can just sail over to St. Petersburg. Aha, we are defending against um, in Uydebor, which handful of mortars deploy back. Because, yeah. Very difficult for me just to well sometimes it's very difficult for me to just go you know what screw it these these guys can die they're just bits of code but at the same time I'm like no these are regular old people I want to keep my guys alive it's been a it's like playing in hoy um when you've got manpower you don't just want to drain it away you're like no no but this is a mighty fine hill and I have cavalry to be honest, I don't really want the hill then. All I want over here. Yeah, that hill could be a bit of a problem. So let's put. To be honest, let's do a. Um, not quite a double envelopment, but I will advance on all flanks. Um, let's keep some... No, I don't want you to sit there. I don't want you to do that. Okay. They, were, they are going to get shelled to buggery with mortars. Let's keep my howitzers up near their front. To fire howitzers too. And I want my cavalry up on the right to exploit this hill. And I've moved a unit of infantry. Okay, so first thing to move is these guys rapidly. Oop, those are the reinforcements. Okay, 
so the mine guy's going to hit their mortars first. So let's see if they drop quick climb on me. Nope, just good old round shot. Who's over here? Okay, so let's move up. It's two units of line. Keep my cavalry high up on the hill to charge down. I think my howitzers just aim at their troops now at this point. Starting to run. So get my cavalry into the mix. Let's keep them running along. Let's hit these unit of cavalry of my cavalry. I've got lances and I've got heavy cavalry. Very well. If you're going to run your cavalry away from me, then I shall... Uh... General. two guys just kill the mortar crews so even if I don't win Okay, at this point I want to turn my artillery off. Oh, I forgot to turn off a unit of howitzers. In this the Russian way. Just mass infantry charges everywhere. You want some militiamen get in and start chopping away. Let's get my general out of the way.
Look at these musketeers go down like knife through butter. There you go, being pushed back on every flank. Except for this unit of cavalry. Which is going to get absolutely slaughtered. send it. <laughs> There's troops on the field and I've got cavalry. So there's not really a worry about it at the minute. Good. 2,000 men. Utterly smashed. Fragments pushed back into the into the uh, countryside. Genoa again. Some, let's look at their swapping ships. Occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income late. Oh, this is a wealthy country. There you go, I'm obsessed with building walls everywhere. Because if anyone slips around my flank. Let's push them up to the river. Get my emergent, my um, flanking force inside. You're all being replenished. Good. Good. Let's get some investment on the go. Send our token force to knock out those guys. What we don't want is them running around the countryside being annoying. They're being replenished, they're being replenished, they're being replenished. This army move northwards to Hyderabad. Oh, such an elite Russian unit. Let's get them in port. Let's disembark them. Run them down to Baghdad. Where not that fleet. My fleets are blockaded, or currently being blockaded. So, how many turns will it take? Two turns, so I can recruit. A fourth ratio of the line. Good. Economy is still developing in Russia, but like I've stipulated before, it doesn't really seem like it's going to matter in time. Good, good, good. A whole lot of attacking. Can I send out some units to hit them? Yeah, and it will pull in this unit. Yeah, they've pushed, pulled them into pull back. Let's bring them back inside. Good, and these guys have chilled out a lot since they don't have a university. So let's tax you. No, let's not. Let's wait one more turn. Yeah, so this is the game. Well, formally. Well, not informally. The uh, campaign has been won because I've captured all my regions. Um, however, I am going to finish off the Mughal Empire, which may or may not take very long. <laughs> so this army's moving up on Hyderabad, which I can't tell if it's been... Infiltrate, so I may as well... Infiltrate... See, I'm going to pop up the general. Ah, they kill them. The monsters, they kill them. So is he... Is this, okay, let's use them to ambush this lone cannon. Slice it and dice it. Then fall back to Jammu. And replenish it whatever you can. Cool. Radio, let's hit and turn. Right now, this... Yeah, we're getting to the uh, towards the end of the campaign. The Mughals have been smashed. Their initial campaigns in the northwest were the peak of their efforts, and after they've been knocked back a few times, I've done some amphibious assaults along their coast, then they've really started to crumble. And this is why I'm keen, because French is more France is more difficult 
kind of, in that it has, I got actual victory conditions, which I'm not sure Russia does. I'm not sure this campaign does. If it, as long as it holds Moscow, it doesn't matter, but France has special regions I need to capture. So I can go ahead and, you know, take India, and that will satisfy... It will satisfy the number of places I have to capture in general, but it won't satisfy the criteria for... No. Why would I give you bayonets? To give you something you can use against me? I don't think so. <laughs> Raid away, Mughal Empire. You're only making it worse for yourself. I don't know what, don't know what Genoa is there doing there, because I haven't got a ship in the region. The pirates still exist, which is funny. So what I'm going to do now... Naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Yeah, mines are a good investment. And you see my money starting to go through the roof. Yeah, build a great arsenal. I've got loads of money. So my economy, in terms of my trade, I'm now getting a hell of a load of tea. Getting some spices and sugar. Obviously it's not all getting through, because... Um, being blockaded down here, but I'm making so much money it does not matter. So lay siege to Hyderabad. Oh, this army may as well <laughs> hit Satara. It's quite a nice full Russian army. If I'm going to bring, if I want to bring an army down from the north to attack, um. Goa, then, well, no, to be honest, things are moving very quickly because the Russian, the, uh, they're not really much to stop me. They've got some, truly got some annoying forces up here, but, you know, these aren't really things of concern. Particularly considering this stack, it just feels happy to sit here. I mean, I could sally this force out and attack it, but to what end, you know? Um, things are going, I've got plenty, like... True, I'd be freeing up an army in that region, but things are going quite well as it is. But you just see, like, this region, Hindustan, with three water power cloth mills and a full-blown ironworks. Crazy, like, you go, oh, God, that's so much money. So much money. But that's why this army... Can I move you out without you being too upset? Yes, I can. So they may as well move on. Well, you may as well move on to Goa. Take you a few turns in this army, to be honest. They can go on attack here. I'll move over this army, which they'll probably be okay with. Yep, to cover the bridge, so this army can't run around and attack the rear. Then the chess pieces are set for the end of the campaign. Um, but not yet. Oh, God, there's no one here either. There's a good garrison, but they've not got any good troops. Text cracking on. Doesn't really matter. And I got a feeling the war might be over before that new um, stat gets into play. So here comes the French sailing off to the New World. Well, I've not given Poland all the uh, the tech I was talking about doing either. Because he seems to have had a bit of a sticky wicket to the minute, but. I'm making us so much money. If I need to raise an army in Europe, then I can do it really quickly. I can fortify Kiev dramatically. Ah, oh, this might be the death. Yeah, this is definitely the death throes of the Polish Lithuanian Empire. Warsaw, um, Konigsberg is their only region remaining. No, wait. They go oh, they got Vilnius. Oh, oh, are they trying. Are they planning a daring raid onto Berlin? That would be so cool. <laughs> That's what happens if you don't have naval superiority. That's what you don't have. See, and I've had that stack up there, pinning that Swedish stack down. They're not bothering us. We're not bothering them. And if they're hoping to get all the way to Russia, they are sadly mistaken. Or they are very, very optimistic in terms of planning for the, uh, for the long game here for them. There is a port in this region that has not yet been Vicente developed. Chugano. Select the type of... Oh, forgive me. 
it's been built for a turn and they're giving me grief. Clear them up. Not quite sure what they're planning on doing. They only normally raid their way up the, up the uh, along the roads, but Gujarat, you're the same. Craft workshop to Weaver's Cottage. You to that. Sugar warehouse. Sugar warehouse. It's got, it's got steam engines. That's the massive enabler here. Crazy. Good. So we'll do a f an actual battle there. Just a bunch of our populace. Right, so what I'm going to do is auto resolve that because I don't think it's going to be that interesting for you guys, but I will do a couple of siege assaults myself. So you know, recently I've been doing lots of attacking back and not really doing anything. Well, this time I'm actually going to. I'm going to assault. So that one. That one's quite a naff assault as well. I'll maintain siege for that one. I'll assault Satara. I'm well, actually looking at the timer. I might have to do this one. To give you guys a bit of action at the end of the turn, I'll do this and I will assault them even with mortars because I've got so many troops. Um, so yes, my plan is to fight this this turn. Um, this part, sorry. And the next turn, fight the attack of Satara. Then maybe the attack on Goa. So next part could be the finale. But, let's, but before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's fight the campaign. Absolute full on Russian swarm. No skill, no. And you know what? I'm going to have a bit of a. I'm going to have a scotch. So there's not going to be any. Ever. Right now, very much the Russian steamroller is on the way, and they are not going to like what happens. At this point, I'm probably not even going to bother bombarding the walls. I'm just going to have a unit attack every section of the wall. One of those. Okay, so let's have a howitzer here. Deploy it to start just to fire quick line with its huge range. Okay, so the leading... Oh, it's a bad habit. It's a poor... It's a... Habit, hard habit to break. So these guys, I'm going to make a breach here. And I'm going to have three units go for it. Everyone else is going to scale the walls. So how many are you? Five-ish. You're going to hit this corner and the edge of the wall and scale. You three... I've got a slightly more different objective, and I want you guys to capture this gate so I can get my cavalry in. Okay, so let's go back to my guns. Set my guns to hit the wall. There you go, quick lamps hitting right in the centre. So I, I run a guy to the centre of the gates to block any cavalry that might try to um, rush out and cause damage. But ultimately that quick is going to do a lot of damage if they're firing into there. is doing. Yep, they're hitting my flanking assault, which is good.
Good. All right, it's so another howitzer battery fire. So let's see what the damage is on the center. They're not aiming for the best target. No, no, they're aiming for the only target they can hit, actually. Being fair. If they're going to leave the gate open for me, then I'll run in. Still want to put guys up on the walls, though. No, stay there, actually. Just keep firing. when I capture the gate. Gate captured. Push in! Let the frame rate drops commence. Let the doors open, they're my guys. God, I think it's the rain as well. The rain's going to be an absolute buzzkill. Rushing in. That assault's not gone to plan. Get into that house. Ooh, they actually managed to do. How is this gatehouse not mine? So let's get guys to try. Go on, don't go. Th don't, don't don't deploy thinly. Deploy in actual rank. Good, good, good. What are you doing? Gate's open. Fine, don't worry about it. Unfortunately, this, in this infantry regiment's going to get hit by a lot of camels. Okay, yeah, you're not going to be doing this. Oh, 
Mizzerun Ford and charge into the, uh, the cannons if they're going to be silly like that. Right now, I was, I was thinking, oh yeah, I know what, I'll just do... I'll just do a regular battle, a regular siege battle, those are great fun. And I've <laughs> started playing and gone, oh god, they're ugly as sin, that's why, I just why. the gate should open because we own the gate. See? <laughs> Pathfinding's a bit out of whack because they're all running. Good. Swing those guys around. Now the unit's going to get chewed up by those guys by those uh, elephants, but say the V. Let's run my cameras, run my horses through, and go straight into the back of that pile, right into the back of this melee. Len, let's turn off. Go straight into the back of them. My th the 5th Regiment of Horse. They won't know what hit them. Here in the rear. Everyone kill the Norta gunner. Is it just three guys? You know what? Don't kill the mortar guys. Just walk into a position where you can shoot at their elephants. There we go. Finally, this gatehouse has been captured. And then do the same, more or less. There isn't anyone over here, is there? Ah, oh, there is. Charge you into the back of them. Um, let's get my quick liming howitzers to hit the war elephants. See what the first, what the opening salvo does. God, they fell short and I killed a lot of my own men. Sure did. Halt. <laughs> the 
So this has finally been broken. But the city is mine. Sadly, I haven't killed the general. But he would... If I own this city in reality, they would be tried and executed on the spot. Okay, let's end it. Heroic victory of the enemy. You know, last region. It's the last big city. The rest of the, uh, the other two spots are... No, wait. No, it's not. Sorry. This is one of two. This is, in fact, the easier one. Then, for the heck of it, because it's not impossible that I come back to this. Church school I need down here, I think. But yeah, that army's on holding duty. This army's there. This army's under siege. But yes, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the play Let's Play so far, because we are coming towards our end. And I shall see you next time, where we will probably finish off the Mughal Empire. Alright, <laughs> see you guys.